Microsoft trying too far with making Windows 2.1 with some advantageous plans. So they immediately would try to have a button that is a shorthand for applications, helping material, and computer functionality. We are going to have a great saga for this one. They would hire a KGB to send after Apple. That would keep the rainbows busy, ha he ha. The Soviet agency would make a big deal over the court and outside it, as they would drain the information. I would also mention, thanks to democracy, that your mother is the second weapon of Microsoft's in their legal battle against Apple. She is not tech savvy, mind you. She will see me the second weapon, but she was born in 1982 into Snide somewhere in between Eskrud and Mukachevo, but she had no experience on cooperating with the Committee for State Security, let alone with Microsoft Corporation. The setting of this timeline is 1989, and that makes your mom at approximately 6 or 7 years old. Get her out of here. What a failure of Microsoft. KGB it is the only choice. Meanwhile, Microsoft got their alpha version of Windows 2.5, compiled on May 23, 1989. Now, the version Superscript 1 2.50 won't last long and the features would be so big, it would want to call that version 3. That, and court shenanigans, so let's think big on what Apple would act. Apple and its allies would work on document about specific American brand called Microsoft, considering what they had done in 1985 to 1989. Apple had compiled all the inflammatory acts Microsoft had made, and Apple and their allies would gladly provide the proofs on what Microsoft is, and who Bill Gates and Scott McGregor are. Introducing the Bill Gates Files. The Bill Gates Files is the collection of cherry-picked, synthetic editing, word mixing, fake and outright misleading messages and images, posts as if Bill Gates and his workers had said George was say a plenty of things. In other words, sometimes Bill Gates was placed on a fictional situations, or what people these days says fake news, and sometimes it's unpredictable on what someone making the document would imply or make the signs. Oh, and they called Bill a 35 years old man child, and the emphasis on adult, apparently, not going to emphasize on the mental genesis that the Bill Gates files would be. Except this is volume 1, and the volume 2 would appear anywhere in 1990. Microsoft would need to be ready for that, but in the meantime, Apple would get to advertise the Bill Gates files left and right, that would happen on TV, on Hollywood circles, a couple S&P 500, and bunch of this visit me met an Apple in an if it trickings, the 3.75 gross of someone's, who's should not spoken on YouTube. And with more events that I would write because I'm too lazy to do that, but one stands out is Microsoft would not be welcomed in Comdex starting with Fall 1989, CES 90 and of course, the Macworld Expo. Welcome to the next level of the conflict. Anyway, back to Windows 3 shenanigans. Ah, you see, Microsoft got themselves a new taskbar. Someone would say that's a copycat to Macintosh's Apple menu from 84 to 89, but who cares at this point? The taskbar would contain the following, start button, the icon that would be Windows logo search button, or finding files, having a favorite ones, or finding the latest open files and applications. Help button, or providing Windows help and tips, or you may search for help, or know which Windows version you have running. Taskbar buttons, for applications you're running. Notification area, oh, it's probably all well going to be in Windows 3.0, but it could tell about battery percentage. Time, for a good measure. It would be resizable. But such a thing can, however, force developers to have to work on Windows 3.0 for more time than Windows 3 without a taskbar and functionalities related to quick access powered with the taskbar. The selling point is a start button. It's like a bucket for Stanley Parable, Ultra Deluxe. Windows U 
users would not live without start. Search and help buttons. It's actually debatable on the help part of transforming the way Windows users would use Windows because users' smart asses and the usage of search would get overused. With secure users would use start to use command.com, but users should use their brains. Windows user sucks, and so does Unix. Can we sip out from users, and go for creators? But if the taskbar appears, Microsoft would go through more Macintosh-related shenanigans. Well, that would exactly happen if Windows 3.0 gets released with the taskbar and three buttons on the left corner. Your mother would probably complain about Microsoft blatantly copying Apple menu, since her own mom was. Well, had her own IIGS, which was best of ample for her country. The problems with that can be seen on the off-topic note in episode 2. So, that's it. That's the tale of a taskbar. A taskbar is the best feature on Windows history, and we had little coverage on that. Oh well, gonna pack things up. The Bill 36 was made on February 17, 1990 very late in comparison of Windows 2.03, international releases that haven't seen the release until the previous year, 1989. Note that a pre-release build was released, not the Windows 3 itself. Oh well the ignorance. The Bill Gates files would have its second volume release around the time of Windows 3.0 Milestone 3 development, in March 17, 1990. This volume would portray Bill Gates as racist and as communist. Bill Gates, on a fictional situation, emailed messages with the racial slurs because it's the 90s and you don't screw with terminally online Usenet modem users who wouldn't grow a spine. It's a 121 page document, keep in mind it costed real money to spread the talk so it was big risk to make this. It would, to the surprise of many within Microsoft, force Microsoft to deal with the distractions and gaslightings, on which its employees doesn't want to deal with, but it was sure caught media attention. CBS? Cancel Microsoft, CNN? Bill Gates is in trouble, 3 Fox? Fox News doesn't care, surprisingly. That's the power of manipulation. Let me say that this is the interesting deviation that East Bizim had voted, which is pretty entertaining. Why so? Because in the year of our Lord 2024, we got to get bold accusations and no reliable sources. We got Donald Trump with his 2024 campaign, enough said about DJT. MXXXXMR666666K with the X Files. Talk about Elon Musk, CNN, the safe chatter, Euromaidan, Russia, 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 and Windows 3.0 development, and the OS slash 2NT project. Yeah, IBM is still with Microsoft, with the release of the funny project NT set to release in 1993. Maybe it's not so bad with Microsoft. They still have collaboration projects with IBM, so not everything's wrong with Microsoft. The new thing is, thanks to our MS influence, the free software movement, Microsoft should do something with the movement.